Have you ever wondered about the origins of life and the universe? This curiosity seems to be woven into the fabric of our minds. But why is that? Could it be that these questions of creation are not just philosophical or religious, but also deeply psychological? From a psychiatric perspective, evolutionary psychology suggests our ancestors who were able to discern patterns and find explanations for natural phenomena were more likely to survive. This inclination to seek understanding, according to Edward O. Wilson, might explain why questions of creation are so compelling to us. Furthermore, cognitive scientists of religion like Pascal Boyer and Scott Atran suggest that our minds might be predisposed to religious beliefs, as these beliefs have historically fostered social cohesion and cooperation. Religious scholarship, on the other hand, provides a variety of narratives on the creation of life and the universe. Christianity, for instance, posits God as the Creator, as described in the Book of Genesis. Islam, too, details Allah's role in creation in verses like those found in Al-Anam and Al-Mu'minun. Hindu traditions, as described in the Rigveda, narrate a divine sacrifice that led to the creation of the cosmos, and indigenous beliefs often emphasize a profound connection to the land and a belief in a creator or spirit responsible for the Earth's formation. Turning to philosophy, inquiries into creation have been framed through metaphysics, teleology, and existentialism. Aristotle, in his work Metaphysics, set a foundation for understanding the nature of being and existence. His Nicomachean Ethics, along with Kant's Critique of Judgment, explores teleological perspectives, discussing the purpose and design in nature. And existentialism, as discussed by Sartre and Camus, emphasizes individual responsibility and the quest for meaning in life. But how do these perspectives interact? John Polkinghorne suggests that science and religion can coexist harmoniously when understood within their respective domains. And Alvin Plantinga explores the interconnectedness of philosophy and theology, arguing for their collaboration in addressing questions of existence and purpose. As we delve into the realms of psychiatry, religious scholarship and philosophy, we see that each offers unique insights into our understanding of creation. Yet, it's in the integration of these perspectives that we find a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding. As we navigate these diverse worldviews, we find a harmony that contributes to our collective exploration of existence and the profound questions of life and the universe.